This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. So we've seen how to add new records to our table. We've seen how to delete records from our table. There will be occasions when you don't actually want to get rid of anybody. You don't want to add anybody new. You actually want to edit the records that are there. Perhaps you'd like to change somebody's surname because they got married or change their telephone number because they've got a new landline or a new cell. Making use of our address book with data and our TBL contacts. So let's open that table. We can move through the table using tab or up and down arrow to move to where you need to be to make your change. If, say for example here, Judith Claxon has now got married to Mr. Fittipaldi and her surname needs to change to Fittipaldi, all I need to do is move to that field and overtype the current contents with the new contents. Now the surname is not actually committed to the database until we leave this row. While we're editing this row, there's a pencil mark on the left, I could still cancel the changes I've made at any stage by pressing escape at the top left of your keyboard. So I press escape now, that effectively cancels the change I've made in her surname and she goes back to being a klaxon. So type in again, Fittipaldi. To commit that change, all I need to do is leave the row and the change is then committed. So that now is her surname. Now with editing, previously in Access, if you edited a record and committed the change, the change was done. But there is now a slight undo facility. You can see we have the undo arrow available and a drop down box. Then you click it and it does. Just put her back to Fittipaldi. Previously in Access, once you'd committed a change to a record in editing it, you were not able to then undo that change. You saw that we pressed escape before we'd committed, that's fine, because you're just undoing before you save. But once you'd left the row, as we have done now, that save was committed. With 2010, you do have an undo facility. You can see the undo arrow is available. One click undoes what we've just done in the previous record. So she goes back to being a klaxon again even though effectively I'd saved the change. So there is a slight undo capability there that hasn't been there previously. So we'll put it back to Fittipaldi again. So that applies to any records field, any field you want to change in any record. Say for example, Richard Walters here moves from 79, stays in the same street and just moves across the road to 88. Again, we have the pencil mark and I can cancel at any stage by pressing escape. Leave the row either upwards or downwards the change is committed. Now, if you need to get into a field and change part of a field, let's say here we have John Smith, that's his email address, but he actually changed part of his email address, not all of it. So I don't want to just start typing and replace his email address. I want to actually get in the field to edit it. To get in a field to edit it, it's F2, which if you're used to using Excel, you'll know is exactly the same keyboard shortcut. And then you're now in, you can move around that row and I can take away the bit I want to change, which is the GSI. Pencil mark still there. Change will not be committed until I leave the record. I will tab out of this cell and come down. The change is committed. So any field you want to edit just part of the contents of, it's F2 to get into the cell, and then you can make the relevant changes. Could be that he was born in 69, not 66. Leave the row by going up or down, and the change I've made doesn't match the mask because I haven't got the zeros in there. Then I can leave and the change is committed. So you'll notice there that the mask's still in play even when editing, not just when data entering. The rules are in place when editing, not just when data entering, because there's a rule on that field as well to say the dates must be in the past. So we can make changes to any entry if it's just overtyping what's there, tab into the field, little arrow into the field, overtype, he's actually got four children, leave the road to commit the changes. If it's just part of the field you need to make the change to, perhaps say for example this telephone number, then F2 drops you into the field, make the change, down or up to leave the row, and the change is committed. If remembering the keyboard shortcut F2 is not on your agenda, you can get into a field with your mouse just by clicking, and that takes you in just the same as F2. But obviously then you're leaving the keyboard and using the mouse, and that's a slightly slowing down process. So editing records within a table, is straightforward. You find the field you need to make the change to, 
If it's a full field change, you just type over the top, leave the row. If it's part of the field, then you need to get into that cell, into that field, by either just clicking in or using F2 to drop you in.